Welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. I last ended off right here, but this episode I'm planning on getting like at least a few pieces of diamond armor, at least some enchantments, and uh, well, I guess I need to get home first. Okay, this is an awkward spot. I'm in the middle of a soul sand valley. And what did I say last episode? What did I say last episode? I'm actually very calm when I play Minecraft. It's just a fluke, man. It's just a fluke. Oh my god, why are there so many mobs? Why are there so many pigmen there? I believe my base is somewhere over here. Need to find some player play structures. Yo, okay, here's my trail. That's really nice to see. Kind of gets me a little hyped. And there it is. Yeah, there's home. There's home. Okay, gotta feed these sheep. I don't have wheat. Okay, I'll just steal some from the village and I'll start growing some. I'm actually broke. Why did I make a house without- I really hate that game mechanic. Why did I make this house without doors? I- there, I really gotta fix a couple things right now. Please don't kick me out of bed. I'm actually gonna hate myself. So I need some stuff to make my armor better. I need some enchants and for that I need some leather. I'm just joking, I'm not gonna kill them yet. I still need to breed them, I'm not that kind of person. We've all experienced the pain of playing survival with someone who kills every single cow but leaves two alive. Like, I'm sorry bro, I know you need some leather, but can't you like, breed them all first and then kill the adults? It's so simple! I'm really out of wood. Well, cows, for now you're living in here. Hope you love your new humble abode. So because I don't really have any place to put these animals, I'm gonna build a farmhouse next to the normal tasks I have this episode. Next to the normal tasks I have this episode. So let me just real quick rerun my donation from Team Trees. Give me a sec. Also, if anyone ever has some suggestions on things I can do in this series, you can comment down below. I might do it. Anyways, I'm spending the night in here because I want phantoms to spawn and I want slow falling potions for when the dragon hits me. Okay, to start this build first, I'm gonna flatten out this piece of land, watch the smooth transition. Yo, it's gone. I just edited that and that was actually a pretty smooth transition. I was gonna use the bad transition as a joke. Do this, see if I could improvise. I think this is enough space for these farm animals. I'll do this. And then I'll do like a fence in between, you can imagine that. And I can build also a fence area here, maybe a path system right here. And I don't like the full path blocks, so I'll just add a I'll just add like a little grass like that. Okay. I can already imagine that looking decent. No, stairs wouldn't work. No, no. Maybe I could do like stair. Maybe I could do like stairs like this and then like slabs. Right there I could do slabs. Oh boy. Maybe I could do something like this since for some reason something looks wrong. Oh, oh, just another arrow. No. Another arrow. Another error. Why do you have why do you have such good aim? Why is your aim so good? No, no. Fine. Oh yes! I'm completely fine. I forgot I took my shield off because I wanted this video to look better. Maybe I should actually put my shield on during night. Okay, I need a jukebox and then I can put this here. Make a chest with a diamond inside and makes a jukebox. Then... It's actually a decent one. So I had this nice idea to add depth to the house where I put trap doors here. Yo, how does it look when I walk in? How does it look? Let's say do this. Let's do this. Okay, this looks terrible. Why did I even consider doing that? What is wrong with me? I should go back to an old-fashioned carpet. Animal carpet, that is. Much better. 
I think this is looking good. It's looking decent. Not the best thing I've ever built, obviously. I thought this build wouldn't be that good. I thought it would be almost as bad as my, uh, well, what looks like a church. Okay, am I gonna be able to fit through this? I'm stupid. It's normal. It's normal. I can just crouch through here and walk in here. This is where I'm gonna put the cows. Yo, cows. Not here to trap you or anything. I just want your attention. You're here. Yo. I just realized this is one block off. And that shouldn't really be that, be that much of a big deal. I can just put a horse here. Okay, let's see if I can, like, see if I can add a nice looking roof, or at least a decent looking one. Then I've been a staircase like this. Here, here. Then place this here. And then right here. And then it actually smoothly transitions into the other side of the roof. Okay, I think that's big enough of a wheat farm. Listen, I don't know where to put a wheat farm yet. I'm just placing it down because I need more wheat. I have an idea for a windmill next episode. One build an episode. It's so boring. I don't want to mine. Have you ever heard of slavery? Yeah, that's right. We're enslaving some villagers. Okay, first things first, let's set up a breeding chamber. We need to make sure we have enough villagers to trade with. Knew these bone blocks would come in handy. Now for the mission of looking, making this look nice. Trust. Okay, I'm gonna add two pillars here. Trust, I learned from last time how not to get hit by a golem. I'm sorry, where'd your owner go? Yo, I think it's done. I think it's fully done. This did not take like a whole hour to do. Basically how this works is when villagers are enticed with food, they start breeding. So the villagers are too tall for this, but the player is just tall enough, or short enough, short, short, short. But the babies can fit through this and they're drawn toward the bed. So when they go toward the bed, they fall down, which is led into a minecart system powered by a redstone torch. I did not destroy that redstone. Anyways, there's a minecart system that goes all the way up here and then leads to the outside world. So once the villagers breed, I get the minecart, I send it down, and then it goes down, and then it should appear back up any second, and there it is. My survival mates can confirm I've built this like 500 times, and I believe villagers have like a five minute cooldown with breeding, so I'm just gonna AFK until I get three villagers, and I'll show you why. Yo, 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 bebe, 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 yo! I should not be excited for this. And the baby fell down, you idiot! It's a girl! Okay, let's test this again. Okay, minecart down there. And villagers should come out the other end. That ought to be good. First try. My machines never fail. And the villagers out here. And it's not a nitwit. I'm pretty sure, like, nitwits have a 50% chance of, like, making another nitwit showing that, like, for some reason it's in their DNA, but... Just not gonna question it. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was never meant to be this way. Uh, for the greater good. It's for the greater good. Nah, nah, I did that because villages are coded to have an iron golem spawn radius. I can't let these villagers ruin it for me. I'm mining coal and I didn't want to get iron, but I just got the stolen pickaxe advancements. I'm really taking this game backwards, aren't I? Don't worry, boy, I'll go back to an iron pickaxe once I make an iron farm. That's right, boys, we're making an iron farm. Okay, let's see if I remember how to make this from memory. Let's first, like, light up the area. Okay, first things first, I need to dig, like, a three-wide hole. This seems like a good spot. Okay, there's a zombie. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks deep. Okay, a bunch of slab. Phantoms finally. 
two blunks in the wall. This is where the soul sand is supposed to be. Soul, soul sand, and then this. Just don't question what I'm going to be using you guys for. Hello! I know you spent your whole life in there. You're going to be useful for once. No, not the place to do this. Not- How are you doing it in a minecart? Thank god I don't have to commit genocide with children, bro. In the hole you go, one by one. Don't question my wrath. Sorry, boys. This is for a necessary cause. I'm sorry. Okay, if I'm correct, zombies don't despawn if they're holding a player dropped item, so... Iron armor zombie, I haven't seen that in a long time. Okay, will you pick up this? There you go. No, no. First try. Gotta put you in water. It's working! It's working! There's an iron golem in there. Yo, it's working! 100%! I'm so iron broke I can't buy a hopper, so I just waited, waited for it to produce enough iron so I can make a hopper. Yo, it's 100% working, and all the iron's gonna go in here, and then this should be AFKable. Well, now that we built this iron farm, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you so much to anyone who watched the end. If you have any suggestions, you can comment down below. I might listen to you. Just make sure it's, like, humane enough for a high school student to do. Anyways, y'all have a nice day. Also, don't make fun of me for this. Getting, like, at least a few pieces of diamond armor. At least some enchantment.